the actors in the dramatized bits, they're perfect, they're great, but for me, the best actor in the film is Eric, Frank's son. Did you, is he a natural or did you help him in any way? Well, it gets to one of my pet peeves, the so-called difference between documentary and drama, if there is any. Um, it's all a performance. You're trying to elicit a performance from me. I may not be doing a very good job for you, but your interest is creating a situation where I tell you a story in some kind of dramatic and interesting way. Um, I like to think that I create a situation where people can tell stories. But do you direct them in any way? It's all directed! But did you say whoa, 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 a little whoa, whoa, more? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll repeat it again because you seem unconvinced. <laughs> you seem to lucky. It's believe. all directed. In that it is not natural. I, I think there's a confusion in what you said. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could be completely off base here. But the suggestion is that because they're directed, they're untruthful. And that the role that I play in eliciting. Uh, why be bashful about it? A performance means that somehow that this isn't real or it isn't truthful. Truth is a quest, truth is a pursuit. You go after it, it's not handed to you through some kind of naturalism or whatever. In this Cold War, the most dangerous weapon is information. You are the men who know the secrets. We are the men who keep the secrets. Did Mr. Morris tell you his version of what happened to Frank? Whose version? Errol's? Errol's, yes. Because it's, it's I mean, in a I, way, it's still unclear, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, I think that this is an investigation into truth itself in some ways, so in the end, you know, I had the idea when we, when we first started this, and not that there isn't a conclusion to this, because I think there is, but like, I really thought we were gonna be like, aha, uh -huh, here right. it is. Here's the piece of paper that says, throw him out the window, please. But like, it just doesn't work like that. I know? think Arrow's trying to also, maybe consciously, subconsciously, trying to inspire Americans particularly, or democracy, people of a democracy particularly, to take action, to, to actually ask the questions. Because we're so used to sort of going along with it, you know? We're mm -hmm. not in a proactive kind of culture right now, because we've been, it's, we're complacent. It's been too easy for Americans for so long, in some ways. Yeah. It's even being made more easy through alternative facts. Oh, alternative yeah. facts, yes. Mm -hmm. So yes. there's no truth anymore. Yes. There's no. no need to look for the truth no, anymore. Yeah. Well, it's degraded, more. so even yeah. if it's there, it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. What were you told at the time of your father's death? I was told that your father has had an accident. But that was the cover story told by the CIA. Is he a different kind of director than the other directors? Yeah. All, all directors, I mean, different from each other, and I know that's a cliche, but, but truly filmmakers all have their own thing, you know? And, but this, Errol is, uh, he's one of the great American filmmakers of our time. So to have an opportunity to work with him in, in this circumstance when he's trying to create something that he hasn't done before. He He's won't tolerate an average shot. There's a lot of directors I've worked with who really aren't visual in a way. And they'll sit there watching and it's fine. And a lot of times he'll be watching and he'd be like, what is this? I'm never going to use this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And change it and let's move it over here. And what's going on? And you know, it could be something that they've been trying to do for an hour. Who knows? But like, just not willing to have it be average. You know? Yeah, he's the mm. most irreverent man <laughs> in a very reverent way in yeah. approach yeah. to the story. So he, he, he'll break any rule to tell the story, make sure the story is right. He's got only one rule, there are no there rules. Are no rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do dramatized bits help you tell a story? Everything helps you tell the story. And here I've taken all, a whole range of techniques, drama, documentary, docudrama, reenactment, archival material, uh, and on and on and on. 
it is a collage, ultimately. In essence, we see the world as a collage. I often point out consciousness is a reenactment of the world inside of our skulls. It's our attempt to make sense of the world. And this is very much a story of trying to make sense of the world, taking the bits and pieces, the scraps, the evidence, and trying to assemble it into a coherent picture, a something. In this case, a coherent picture of what happened to Eric's father.